Hey, chickadees. What is up? Okay, so I'm happy to report some good news today. Um, I was looking at like my photos last night and I do still have one picture left of Austin and one picture of S. And I have a couple pictures of H and then I have one picture of Renfro. So all is not lost with my Instagram. We are all still good. Um, the parking deck on the third floor is a little weird today. Like, I don't know what's going on. How's the hair? How's the hair? Sorry, guys. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I'm just going to brush through all of it. Usually I let the curls in the back kind of like do their own thing, but... I'm thinking I'm just going to brush through all of it. Just make it really nice and smooth. Like, can you guys see anything? Probably not. I can barely see anything. It's giving very much the, um, the prince from, <laughs> from Shrek 2. Do you know who I'm talking about? The guy with the blonde hair? Okay, so what happened yesterday? Oh my God, so yesterday someone at work, like someone died on campus yesterday, like in the bathroom, like, um, so like my building is right here and then there's a building right here and then there's a street in between. In this building, someone died. Um, we don't know if it was like a faculty member or if it was a student or if it was some like random hobo, but there was a man dead in the bathroom and the rumor is that he overdosed on drugs. And then I almost died yesterday. Okay, so I'm walking back to my car. Like, my shift is over, and I'm walking back to my car. And, like, there's someone who works in my office. She was standing here. And it was weird because, like, usually she, like, talks to me. But today she didn't talk to me. Or that day she didn't talk to me. So, the light. Usually, like, there's some, like, opportunity to go before the walking person comes on. But this time there really wasn't. So I waited until the walking person was on and then there was like, so it was like four people at the light, right? Four, four pedestrians waiting to walk at the light. So this one girl is on the other side of the street and she starts coming this way. And then my coworker, she kind of is more ahead of me. And then next to me is like this Asian guy but he's still a little bit further ahead of me. And then I'm kind of like the straggler. So I'm like closest to where the cars are. And it's two lane traffic. So this car is in the second lane. They're stopped. They're already stopped. Like the light's been red. So I'm walking, walking, walking. And I'm right at the cusp of the white line where like it begins the lanes of traffic. And this lady comes jetting forward. Like whoom. And like, if I had put, if I had stepped forward, she would hit me. Like she had to like come to, like she like slammed on her brakes to come to a stop. And I'm telling you, if I would have stepped one more foot, she would have hit me. And I was like, it was so funny. I was like, oh my God. And I was like, oh my God, my coworker heard that. <laughs> but like, I knew my coworker was there and like, I would have, I probably would have like hit the person's car and like started cussing them out. But like, no, I was like, no, let me not do that. And then, like, I knew that the girl, it was, like, a girl driving, of course, a woman driving. Are we sh I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys, do not come for me. But she made that, like, you know, that, like, ah, oh, I'm so shocked face. But I'm, like, at the same time, though, it's, like, bitch, don't act shocked. You know what this is. You need to focus on fucking driving. Like, I don't feel bad for you. I really, why would I feel bad for you? A pedestrian walking when there's the walking, like, Oh my gosh. And then there's a part of me that like, bitch, I wish she would have hit me. Bitch, that would have taken me out of work for two months. I would have gotten a nice fat paycheck. Knowing her ass though, she probably would be uninsured. So I wouldn't fucking get shit. 
Ugh. But damn, could you fucking... Oh, and then I have shitty insurance, so it's like... <sighs> that would just have been an insurance nightmare. But that would have been so funny, though. So, death count is still at one, but it could have been two. I don't think I would have died. Because she came to a stop. But it would have... It would have sent me flying. I would have been like, wee. But yeah, guys, that was my near traumatic. That's like, and then yesterday, another like weird experience. I hope it's not the Sperry's. I'm rewearing the Sperry's today to make sure like maybe it was just the energy. Maybe it was the khaki pants. I don't know. But like, okay, so I'm on my lunch break and I'm walking, right? And usually I wait at this stoplight and I cross the street. But today I was like, no, I'll go a different route to get back to my car. Cause like that's when I have to like carry my lunchbox and I hate carrying my lunchbox because like I look like like I look like a doofus carrying this big ass thing. <sighs> so I'm walking and there's this like dude, he's like he's like six foot. He's kind of like I'm trying to describe his vibe. The best way to describe his vibe is kind of like, like rapper R&B type guy. Like he was a light skinned dude. And I only say that because the glasses he had, they were like gold frames. And then the lenses, they weren't like regular sunglasses. They were kind of like, um, they were like a light brown tint. So you could see his eyes through them. So you could still see his eyes. And like the fit was cute. Like he was, he was well, like, you know, he was cute. It was put together, like it was a cute fit. But so I'm walking and like, it's like a restaurant he was sitting outside of. And so he's sitting down and I'm walking and I like, we make eye contact and I'm like, okay, I look away. And then I look back at him and he's still staring at me. And then as I'm walking past him, his eyes like are following my eyes. And I'm just like, Damn, bitch, you want to take a motherfucking picture? Like, shit. And I fucking kept walking. Like, don't fucking try squaring a bitch up because whatever you fucking think is... Because, you know, here's the tea, y'all. I'm going to give you all the tea. I'm going to give you guys the tea. I'm going to give you all the tea. When you're walking around a fucking liberal-ass campus as a white man and you're wearing, like, business casual clothes... People look and treat you with the utmost disrespect because they think you're some like KKK, white lives matter type of person. And it's like, can y'all fucking get over yourselves? Like literally, can you get over yourselves? And like, it's not just like black people. It's like literally like even the gay people and the trans people. It's just so fucking annoying. It's like, um, here's a consideration. Maybe I'm dressed the way I am because I'm at my job, because I have a fucking job in an office and I'm working. Like, I don't give two fucking shits what your job is, but this is my job and this is my uniform. So, baby boy, please respect. Otherwise, keep it stepping. I would, I wish I had something to rhyme with respect. Please respect. Or go F off. But that like freaked me out. Because like I didn't know like if A he was flirting or B he was trying to square up on me. You know what I'm saying? Like because people do that shit to fucking like intimidate you or you know to like it's like an animal like marking your territory like <clears throat> like bitch can you please not? Like it's literally 12 in the afternoon on a Monday. I really don't have time for these antics. These social dynamic antics. Like, oh my god. <sighs> you guys, it's just like, it's so annoying. Oh my god, it's a bad hair day today. I'm crying. I cannot see shit in this fucking car. Oh my god. I need, like, a light. Like... They, they had one job. They had one job. Put a light on the visor. Put a light on the visor and they didn't do that. Anyways. What else is tea, bitch? 
I think I'm going to be hanging out with D on Thursday. He hit me up last night and he really wants to hang out. So I think I'm going to hang out with him on Thursday and then yeah, and that's yeah. Which is like kind of annoying because like I work from home on Thursday. So I'm going to have to like drive into the city and then like Friday morning. Okay, so Friday we uh, like we have this like division meeting from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. But people who work from home don't have to do it or like they can do the Zoom option. And like but then like I heard my supervisor being like, oh, well, it's really only for like like really only like high leadership people are like expected to be there and then so i'm like okay so is she gonna make us go on friday or not because like i really don't want to go to this meeting on friday because like it's gonna be like a lot of people it's gonna be like 100 plus people and like and then like if i hang out with d on thursday i'm gonna have to like i'm gonna have to tell him and be like i have to leave at 10. Not even, like 9.30. I need to leave at 9.30 so I can get home by 10 and get ready to bed. So 9.30, okay. Period. Okay. 9.30. Okay, y'all, let me... Like, I hate this so much. Like, my life has become so planned. It's, like, ridiculous. <gasps> it's so ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Okay, y'all. Peace.